Today I'm going to show you how to edit night skies in Lightroom. Welcome back to another Lightroom editing tutorial. Today I'm going to be talking about how to edit night skies in Lightroom. Look at this image right here. It's a really nice image, really two colors in the sky, the purple and the dark blue. And down here in the campfire light makes this really nice red and so that adds a lot to this really bright night sky in the image and you can see i've added like this purple in the middle and if you look at a lot of astrophotography and pictures of like night skies with stars there's always the main section that's highlighted and makes it kind of like the subject of the image and so with that i wanted to make this the subject of the image kind of bring all the focus to that so i changed the color of that and if we look at it quick before you can actually see there aren't two colors there's just one dark blue and so I wanted to, you can kind of see the faint outline here, so I changed that color a little bit. And also this down here was a really like bright orange, and I wanted to make that more of like a desaturated red. And kind of bring more focus to the sky up here. And so I was able to bring that down, make the colors look a little better. And overall just made the sky look a little brighter and added a lot more contrast and more depth to the sky. And so before we get started, don't forget to like and subscribe for more Lightroom editing tutorials. And let me know down in the comments below what other presets or videos you would like to see. I went ahead and made a virtual copy just to get started with the clean edit. The first thing you want to do is start by decreasing the temperature making the overall image a little cooler since night photos tend to be a little bit on the cooler side. I also want to increase the tint a little bit make the image just a little bit more purple. Now I want to increase the exposure since night photos tend to be darker. I really want to bring out all the details so you can see everything I'm working with and so the image is properly exposed. I also want to bring up the contrast, just to add a little more to the image. Now with the highlights, you can see there's a lot of brighter parts in the image right here. And so I want to bring that down so you can see the stars more clearly. Bring down the highlights. I also want to bring up the shadows so you can see some more detail down here. And you'll notice that bringing up the shadows really didn't bring out much down here. That's because the camera wasn't able to capture this and this and get everything exposed. And so we're mostly going for the sky so it doesn't really matter if this is exposed or not. If you're shooting raw and your camera has a really good dynamic range, then you'll be able to use something like the graduated filter and bring up the shadows and see all the details. But in this image it's just going to be dark since it wasn't able to capture that. Now I'm going to move on to the whites. I'm going to bring down the whites and see some more detail in the sky. I also want to bring down the blacks a little bit too. There we go. I increase the texture just so you can see some more details in the sky. I want to bring up the clarity and then bring up the DAs a little bit. Now with the vibrance and saturation, I'm going to bring down the vibrance. And then bring up the saturation. And so you can see these are just the base edits and overall just made the image a little bit better exposed. Now I'm going to move on to the tone curve, add some contrast to this image. I'm going to make the three points, one in the shadows, mid-tones, and highlights. I'm going to bring down the shadows a little bit. Bring over the mid-tones. And then bring up the highlights. And the black point, I want to bring that up a little bit. And then crush the whites. And so you can see this added a lot of contrast to this image, but also messed with the colors a lot too. I don't really want this really bright blue in the sky, and this down here is also really bright. Now we're going to move on to the HS, so I'm going to fix all those colors up. I'm actually going to start by fixing all these reds and oranges down here, make it look better. And so with the red, I'm going to bring that more towards like an orange. And then with the orange slider, I'm going to bring that towards red. And so that's really going to change the color over there. And then with the yellow, I'm going to bring that towards an orange too. There we go. And so that changed the color, and I'm going to adjust the saturation of all those colors. So I'm going to desaturate the reds. Most of the color you saw was in the orange, so I'm also going to bring that down. And then I'm going to bring down the yellows just a little bit too. Now with the luminance, I'm going to bring up the reds just so it's a little brighter. And darken the oranges. And then bring up the reds. As you can see, it made it into a really nice red just a quick before and after. Really changed up the color and brought a lot of the focus off of the trees down here. 
Now we're going to fix up the really bright and saturated blue. So we'll start with the green actually and bring that more towards like a yellow. Now with the aqua I'm going to bring that towards more like a blue. Just add more blue to the sky. And with the blue I'm going to bring that towards like a little bit of teal. There we go. Now I'm going to adjust the saturation of all these colors. Mostly when to desaturate it since the sky is really saturated right now. I'm going to bring down the greens. Bring down the aquas just a little bit. And then desaturate the blues. And just by desaturating the blues you can see the difference that it made and made the overall sky look a lot better. Now I'm going to be adjusting the luminance. With the greens I actually want to make that darker. I'm going to make the aquas and the blues brighter just so we can have the sky look brighter since that's the main focus of this image. And now we're going to finish off with the purple and magenta. I'm actually going to bring the purple all the way to plus 100 so you can see that adds a lot of purple to the sky. And then with the magenta I'm going to bring that down. And then I'm going to desaturate the purple just a little bit. And then desaturate the magenta. And then with the luminance, I'm going to bring down the purple quite a lot. And then bring up the luminance on the magenta. You can see I was really able to fix up the colors. It went from this like overall really saturated blue and this orange right here. It made it look a lot better. And so now I'm going to move on to the split toning. So I'm going for more like a red in the highlights over here, purple in the shadows. So with the highlights, I'm going to press Alter Option and move over to about there. And then increase the saturation just a little bit. There we go. And then with the shadows, I'm going to press Alter Option and bring that over towards like purple. There we go. And then increase the saturation. And so that really helped add that overall tint to the image. I'm going to move on to the detail. If you zoom into the image, you can actually see there's a lot of color noise. And so I want to get rid of that, and that tends to appear a lot in night skies, especially when you're bringing up the exposure a lot. And so with that, I'm going to actually start by sharpening the image just a little bit, and then adding some detail. And you can see with the detail right here that if I increase the noise reduction, you can see it kind of goes away, but it doesn't do that much. With the color noise, you can see that will really help make it go away. There we go. So if we look at just a quick before and after, you can see that really helped get rid of all the color noise. And if you zoom in, you can see it actually got rid of a lot of the color noise. And so that really helps bring out the night sky a little bit more. I'm going to move on to the camera calibration. Just fine tune the colors a little bit more. And so with the red primary, I'm going to decrease the hue for that one. And then also decrease the saturation. With the green, I'm going to increase the hue on that one. And also increase the saturation a little bit. And then with the blue, I'm going to bring that towards more like a teal. And then desaturate that. You can see this really fine-tuned the image a little bit more. Added a little more teal to the image and added that red to the trees and the campfire over here. And so we're not quite done actually. Now I'm going to do some local adjustments. So if we go to this button right here, this is the radio filter. And so that lets you draw out where you want to make some adjustments. So with this one, I'm going to make a big oval and kind of center it right here. And then turn it. And so you can see the faint outline right here. This is the main part I want to bring out. I'll make it a little bit wider. And so with this adjustment, what I'm trying to do is darken out the rest of the image and just leave this brighter. And so that adds more depth and you can see the main part more clearly. And so I'm going to decrease the exposure around it. And if you notice that you're only decreasing on the inside, maybe your invert is checked. To make sure that you have check or uncheck invert based on where you want to do it. And then I'm going to increase the contrast on here. I'm going to bring down the highlights. And so you can see that really darkens the image a little bit. 
there we go. And then I'm going to darken the shadows a little bit too. So you can see just from this before and after, I was really able to bring the focus on this right here. So if I click done, you can see that this is really well defined. You can see this clearly than the other parts. And so now change the color. I'm actually going to go back to the same tool and then draw it in another shape. And then position it similarly. This one I'm going to make a little bit wider. There we go. And so now we're going to be messing with the hue adjustment right here. And so with the new feature, I've been able to change any color. And right now when I'm changing colors, you can see it's only doing it on the outside. And so that's where I would click the invert button. And so now that changes to only on the inside. And so now I'm going to be able to adjust the colors. I want to make it more like a purple. There we go, that looks about good. And so if I just look at a quick before and after, you can see I was really able to darken the rest of the sky and bring focus to the image right there. So now if we look at a overall before and after, you can see that it's a pretty dark image right here. And this is just a dark blue. And so I was really able to bring that out Add a lot of detail, you can see a lot more stars in the background here. And also change the color of this main galaxy right here. And also change the color of the trees. So overall this is a really nice image, has a lot of contrast and that's how you edit night skies in Lightroom. Thank you so much for watching today's tutorial on how to edit night skies in Lightroom. If you like this tutorial, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And also subscribe for more Lightroom editing tutorials. And let me know down in the comments below what other presets or videos you would like to see. Thanks for watching.